Hi team, Snowflake Dan here with you. Today we're gonna to be covering over how to use the model registry inside of Snowflake. So to do that, we're gonna create a model in a notebook. We're gonna save that model to the registry and then deploy or use it uh, via SQL. So let's get into it. So the first thing you'll notice on the page is a tutorial. I'll be using this tutorial um, for the files and also the code. Uh, so let's do the first thing and download the notebook itself. So we'll head to download, we'll click the download link and since I have a brand new and fresh Snowflake account, I'm gonna to need to create a few objects like a database schema and a warehouse. So let's head over to Snowflake, we'll go to projects, we'll go to worksheets and we'll create a new worksheet. We'll paste that code in there. And like I said, this will create a database called raw, a schema called science and a warehouse called development. Great, so let's head back to the tutorial We'll scroll down and the first thing we have to do is actually create some sample data. This sample data is just gonna be some uh, data about test scores and we're gonna predict test scores based on this data. So let's head back to Snowflake. We'll paste that in there and we'll hit run. And now if we refresh the left side, we'll see we have a database called raw, a schema called science, and we have a table in there called student test scores. Great, let's head back to the tutorial. And the next part will be, we wanna upload the notebook to our notebooks. So we'll head back to Snowflake, we'll open up the notebooks tab, and then we'll want to import our notebook. So I'll click the import button, I'll select our notebook, we'll click open, and then I'll give it a name. So maybe I call it the student test score model. I want to put this notebook inside of our science schema to keep it uh, relatively in the same area. I will use the development warehouse and we'll run it on a warehouse. If you have a use case where maybe your model needs to run on a GPU or it's got some complex things requiring a container or a Docker container to run on, you could run it on a container. But we'll click create here. And then we'll notice that uh, we're loaded into our uh, notebook. Great, so let's scroll down a little farther. The next thing we'll wanna do is install the package Snowflake ML Python. And the reason for this is because we need to grab the registry from it, as well as a couple packages like sklearn, which comes pre-packaged with the Snowpark, or Snowflake ML uh, package. So we'll click on that. We'll notice that we'll use the latest version of it, and then we'll click Run All. And now what this notebook will do is it'll set the registry, it'll then select the test data that we want, those values we added earlier for the training data. We'll then add that training data and use a linear regression model or train a linear regression model. If we go back to high school, this is really about how do we draw the best line to fit the data. And then we'll save that um, model using the registry.log function or log model function. And we'll provide it a name, a version here, which we'll just use the current timestamp to do so. So if we wanted to run this multiple times, we could have different versions and we'll use a timestamp to differentiate them. We'll put any dependencies, so sklearn, we'll put a comment, We'll add some metrics and we'll see how we could see those metrics in the future. In this case, it'll be the score of the model. Uh, then we'll have some sample data added that we had before, which is our X input data. And then we'll relax the version. Great, so let's see that model now saved inside of our uh, database slash schema. So we'll go to science and we'll notice now we have a models tab here and we have a predict test score. So if I want to, I can open up that tab and I could see that the model is saved here. I have a version number. If I wanted to click in on that version to see more metadata about this uh, model, I could see that here's the metrics, the score, here's the Snowpark ML schema version and some functions that we're gonna use later, more precisely the predict function because we're gonna implement this and deploy it with SQL so that that SQL function could be used anywhere, whether it's in your BI tool, whether it's in an application or anywhere in, uh, that has SQL access to Snowflake. So let's do that. 
Let's head back to our tutorial really quickly and we'll scroll down. And we'll notice that we're given two different uh, ways that we could do this. We could either use the default version, which we only have one version, so it is the default version. So I'll copy it here and we'll head back to Snowflake. We'll go to our worksheet. I'll remove this and paste in our new one. And then uh, we'll wanna set the context very quickly. So we'll go to raw and science. So we make sure we're using the right model. And here, if I hit run, I'm saying that what would happen if I studied for eight hours? What would be the prediction of me studying for eight hours? And we'll notice that I would get a test score of 66%. If we wanted to, we can change this to make a different prediction. We'll notice that when I study for 12 hours, there's a prediction that I'll get 107%. So obviously this model is not perfect, but it shows the ability for making predictions. So if we wanted to use maybe a specific version, so maybe if we have multiple versions, in this case, I can simply copy the next code and we'll switch this out. And so we'll notice that we're specifying here in the CTE that I wanna use the latest version or the most recently created version. You could also change this to a specific version that we saw earlier where we were able to go in and get the version number. So if I run this again, we'll notice that I'm only studying for 3.5 hours, which means I'm gonna get a very poor test score. Great. So now that we have the model, we're able to use it. How do we manage the model so that I only want people to be using a specific model? I only want them to be using the default model. So what we can actually do is come here and copy where we alter the model and set the default version. So I'll copy this in, paste it, and we'll notice that it requires a model version. So if we go back or if we go to our raw, then we go to science and we open up our model, we can go inside of there and copy our version. So in this case, it's this version number. We'll copy or I'll copy it from up here. We can go back to our worksheet and we could paste in our version. And so now anytime anyone runs the default version of the model, it will run this specific version. So if you were giving this to your BI team, you can give them the SQL code to only run the default version and you can control the version that they're using. So this has been the model registry inside of Snowflake. Thanks for watching.